One of the cool features of the Aurora is that you can extract the autofluorescence, which will improve your data. So here's some examples of autofluorescence. So these are just unstained cells run on the instrument. You can see that splenocytes don't have a lot of autofluorescence. Lung cells have a fair amount and yeast cells have a pretty high amount of autofluorescence. And with the autofluorescence extraction, it will now utilize this signature as a unique signature, and so it will put this into an additional channel in your unmixed file labeled AF. One thing that's important to note, though, is that if you don't have a lot of autofluorescence, for example, in this whole blood sample, if you do use the autofluorescence in extraction, you end up getting some odd shaped populations and it ends up looking a lot better if you don't use the autofluorescence extraction. So you should pay attention to how much autofluorescence you have and only use it if you have high autofluorescence. Now you may be wondering what is high autofluorescence and what is low autofluorescence. That is a bit of a gray area so if you have a autofluorescence signature that is kind of in between, you may want to try unmixing with the autofluorescence extraction and without the autofluorescence extraction.